Hello, today's devotional can be found in Doctrine and Covenants, section 103, verse 15. Behold, I say unto you, the redemption of Zion must needs come by power. Alright. So we can have Zion in our hearts, even though we are imperfect. We can have Zion in our minds as well. It depends on what our mind thinks and feels. But we can have it. But how is this possible, you may ask. We are imperfect beings who have a limited capacity for thinking and feeling and doing. And we are all limited in what we can do. But guess what? Guess what? We're children of God first and foremost. And as children of God, we have a divine heritage. And we came from heaven after agreeing to come and have this mortal experience, even though Heavenly Father knew not all of us would come back. But of course, when we got here, we automatically fell, so that we were cut off from God. But, Heavenly Father knew about this, knew it was going to happen, and He had a plan in place already. You see, the Atonement is an act of great love and mercy performed by our Savior, our Redeemer, Jesus Christ, to buy our souls from hell, to take our sins away, that we might be able to walk out of hell, out of the mist of darkness, and to the point where we can realize and remember that we're children of God and that we can be at a point where we can be close to Heavenly Father again if we so choose. You see, we are redeemed only if we want to be, and if we don't want to be, well, the Lord can't force us. But why would we want to carry our sins? They're heavy, they're painful, they're sorrowful. No. The Lord redeemed us so that we wouldn't have to carry our sins. So that we could learn and grow and prosper according to His will. Because of the atonement, we can remember that we're children of God and that we can someday become God's if we so choose. We can all be a Zionist people if we so choose. For Christ redeemed us from hell, from our fallen state, that we could become better than we are, that we could turn from saints into sinners and from sinners into something better, or from saints into something better. Because at, at one point or another, we're all sinners, we're all saints, and we're all trying to become something better. And we can do it because of the atonement of Jesus Christ, and the wonderful plan of salvation that God has laid out for us. And I love you very much, and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.